These days it's nearly impossible to talk about Winter Sun without bringing up the numerous controversies surrounding the group. Band leader Yari Mainpa is without a doubt one of the most ambitious and imaginative players in his field, but that ambition has often been to his own detriment. Even though Winter Sun's catalog includes some undeniable gems, unfortunately they've been largely overshadowed by the stuff the band has yet to release. Because of this, it's worth looking into the story of Winter Sun and find out whether the band still has something to offer in the world of metal. Yari Manpa made a name for himself in the late 90s and early 2000s as the frontman for Finnish folk metal outfit Enciferum. At the same time, he had also been working on some of his own material that was much more technical and aggressive than Enciferum. Word eventually got out to the German label Nuclear Blast, and soon Manpa's solo project started to gather some steam. Winter Sun was always meant to stay as a side project for Manpa, but when his recording sessions conflicted with Enciferum's touring schedule, Manpa was duly fired from the band. Thus, Winter Sun became Manpa's number one priority. All the instruments on Winter Sun's debut were performed by Manpa himself, save for the drums, which were handled by Kai Hahto. After recording finished, Norder bassist Jukka Koskinen was tapped to the band, as well as former Enciferum guitarist Oliver Falken. Winter Sun's self titled debut album was released in 2004 and garnered considerable praise. Chaos Team praised the record's scope and touted it as one of the biggest gems in Finnish metal. Soon after the album's release, Oliver Falken left the group to concentrate on other projects. He was replaced by guitarist Teemu Mäntysaari. In 2006, Winter Sun headed to the studio to begin recording their second album, tentatively titled Time. The name would prove to be apt, as it would take a considerable amount of time before any of us would hear even half of the record. At the end of 2006, Manba announced that time had been delayed due to a variety of technical difficulties. Similar delays came in 2007, and eventually the album was delayed indefinitely. Problems surrounding the record had to do with the technical limitations of the equipment used to produce the record, which couldn't keep up with Manpa's ever-expanding vision for the album. These issues eventually led to Manpa developing writer's block, which delayed time even further. In 2011, Winter Sun performed a handful of festival dates in Europe, which was quite the surprise given that the band hadn't performed live in years. The reason for this rare sight was that Nuclear Blast had agreed to provide money for new computer equipment in exchange for the festival shows. The hope was that this would finally allow Manpa to complete his magnum opus. In 2012, Winterson announced that they had completed their long-awaited second album. However, this wasn't Time, but instead just the first part. Time 1 was released that same year and garnered equal amounts of praise and criticism. Because it had taken so long for the record to come out, many were critical of the fact that it only included 5 songs. On the other hand, those 5 songs were quite extraordinary and Chaos Scene even rated the album a perfect 10 out of 10. This also reflected in the record sales as Time 1 shut up straight to number 2 in Finland. On the back of the album's release, Winter Sun set out on a new world tour. Following Time 1's release, Manpa teased a potential 2014 release date for Time 2. This didn't happen however, and Manpa was forced to explain multiple times on social media why the available recording and mixing equipment weren't sufficient enough to realize his vision for the album. In 2015, Kai Hahto joined Nightwish, which meant that Winter Sun were forced to find a new session drummer to fill his seat. A year later, the band began searching for a new guitarist as well, as Manpa wanted to focus solely on singing live going forward. Timo Häkkinen, Rolf Pilve and Heikki Saari would handle drum duties while Asim Sera napped the guitarist spot. In 2017, Winterson announced the release of their third album. This wasn't however the long-awaited Time 2, but instead another record entirely. The Forest Seasons was released later that same year and it shot up straight to number one in Finland. Despite this, the album received a mixed response. Chaos Scene called the record a slice of imaginative megalomania, while many other listeners couldn't help but wonder where Manpa found the time to write and record another album when Time 2 wasn't even finished yet. Before the release of The Forest Seasons, Winterson set up a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo to help build a new home studio. Many hoped that this would expedite the release of Time 2 and the campaign would go on to raise almost a half a million euros. This didn't seem to do it, however, as Winter Sun set up a Patreon account in 2020 which allowed fans to give monetary aid to the band in the form of a monthly subscription. Many criticized Winter Sun for seemingly exploiting its fanbase, and Manpa was quick to defend himself, stating that Patreon was completely optional for the band's fans. 
Many also questioned Winter Sun for shifting his focus to Patreon-exclusive content instead of working on Time 2. Manpa was quick to hit back by stating that Winter Sun were actually working on four different albums, although none of them were Time 2. In a since-deleted social media post, Manpa stated that he hadn't worked on Time 2 since 2014. In 2022, Winter Sun were hit with a couple of setbacks. First, Asim Serra was unexpectedly fired, and soon after, Jukka Koskinen joined Nightwish. Since then, things have remained relatively quiet on the Winter Sun front, although Manpa did release a short instrumental in early 2023. Winter Sun can be viewed as a cautionary tale of where perfectionism can lead. No one can deny Yari Manpa's exceptional skill as a songwriter and musician, but his endless polishing and pursuit of perfection has often been to the detriment of Winter Sun. It remains to be seen whether Time 2 will ever see the light of day. At this point, it wouldn't be surprising if Manpa decided never to release the album, given how much of a headache it's been for himself and the fans. Time will tell, but still. One shouldn't forget Winter Sun's earlier records, as they are, in all their grandiosity, exceptional albums in the field of Finnish metal.